My name is David Armbrust and I'm a Master Gardener. I live in Cumberland County in Crossville, Tennessee. And today I'm going to talk about rain barrel installations. But before I talk about rain barrel installations, I want to give you some facts about rain. One inch of rain on a thousand square foot, that's approximately 50 by 20, equals 600 gallons of water. If it only rains a half inch, it's 300 gallons, and if it only rains a quarter inch, it's 150 gallons. So you can see just a, a quarter inch will give you 150 gallons, which is more than you need probably to water all your plants, and you don't have to use the regular water. Um, how you're going to collect that water is you're going to collect it in a rain barrel. Rain barrels come all kinds of sizes, all kinds of shapes. This one happens to be a 55 gallon drum, but there are also other ones that look like an urn, some look like a whiskey ba a, a barrel, and, but all of them have to have some essential things. And the first thing is you have to have a way to get the water into the barrel. This particular model has this adapter, and this adapter fits the normal spouting. Now if your spouting is bigger, you get a different adapter. Second, all of them have to have a drain to let the water out. The drain is right here. It's called a boiler drain. And on the drain, it has a thread so you can hook a hose on it. And the third thing it has to have is an overflow. So once the, the barrel fills up with water, it has to have a way to get the water out or else the water would back up in your spouting, your downspouting. So I'm going to show you how you hook that up today. But now some rain barrels that they sell have this spout up this high on it. If it has it up there, you're going to leave all this other water is not going to come out. So you want to, you want to get one that has the valve on the bottom. And you want to get this on the top so you can get the most amount of gallons of water in the rain barrel. And this particular one, and this one runs around $40, you can unscrew the top of the rain barrel. barrel take your hose and you can squirt it out, clean it out and clean the water so that mosquitoes and stuff don't get into it. Some of the ones have a spot here where this is cut out where you put plants on here, but then when you go to lift it up to clean it out, you got your plants, plus you have to unhook your spouting or however you have it on there. So I like this particular one, and again, it's $40 versus $100 for the other ones. The first thing you want to do is find out where your spouting's coming. This is, the top is called a gutter, this is called a downspouting. Downspouting usually comes at the end because you run your gutter down and then it comes down here. It could be on the back or it could be on the side. This one's coming on the back of this pretend building. So I like to put two blocks and a topping block here so it gets it off the ground. So when you put your rain barrel out here, you can uh, fill up plastic jugs of water easily or you can use uh, your hose to hook it on here without going on the ground. So the first thing would be to put the two 8 inch concrete blocks that run about $1.50 and the other two blocks on here and set it on there and then what you want to do is look at the downspouting come down and try to figure this spouting by the way in your house will look like this it'll come all the way down and it'll go into something like this if you have in the ground this spouting will be attached up to there so the spouting could be still hooked up when you measure but you want to know where to cut the downspouting off at so um, this particular one, because of the way it's at, I'm going to use two elbows. They make the elbows two different ways. This is called a class B elbow. Um, the other one is a class A elbow. And the difference is the class A L or A elbow comes out this way, the class B goes sideways. In this case, we're going to use the class B one. What you're going to do is put a piece of masking tape where you have to cut it off. And then after you put it where it's going to, where it's going to come, you have to climb up. And if this is a single story house, most of them, this pipe comes 10 foot. So you'll have to climb up 
and there'll be a one screw up at the top and it's a Phillips screw and you unscrew the this and you'll probably have a bracket like this that you have to unscrew to take the pipe down. You take the pipe down, take it over to your bench. Of course at home you could put this in a vise. I have this out here and cut the pipe off with a hacksaw. So, so far the only tool we've needed is a hacksaw and some masking tape. Now I won't saw this because it makes a lot of noise, but you can cut that off. But if you have a metal saw, you can use the metal saw instead of a hacksaw. So now that you've got that piece off, you don't need it anymore. And so we're back to this. So we're going to put it back up, put the screw back in, and put this screw, this bracket back over. Tighten that back up. Now you got this secured. Now we're going to take the tight B elbow and I went ahead and put it together. Before you put it in there, this is a piece of um, rubber matting that someone puts in tools. I put that in there to catch any leaves and stuff that might happen. And you want to stick this in. Shove that up. Push that down. Push that around. Okay, now we got the water when it rains come off the roof and it'll flow into the 55 gallon drum. Now we have the water coming in. Now we got to get it back to the drain. Now you can do this with several different things. This is a three inch drain pipe and that fits exactly inside there. And then you can take this white piping and pipe down to the bottom there and you'll take this out and you'll need to get another piece like this. This is a connector. Since we have this out of the garden and we have to take this off for mowing, instead of the regular pipe that you can go down a three inch pipe, we can also put the pipe through. Shove that up. And for this installation, this is a normal elbow that goes like this, 90 degree elbow, but it's flexible, so you can spin it around like that. Stick that in the ground, and stick that on there. And you have it now so that the water goes in here, it overflows and goes back out in your drain. If you, if you don't have a drain like this that goes in here like that, then what you can do is put it like this, but we don't want the water to go back to the house. You can put another piece of pipe on it like this and get the water over around, away from the house, or you can bury it in the ground or I picked this up at the Habitat store. You can shove that in there like that. Spin it around and the water will run out. Or you can put a splash box, which is just a plastic or concrete to let the water go away from the house. Um, if you go with the plastic, it's about $20. But this one is about the same amount of time you buy them. There's two type of plastics, one of them has slits in it like this, you wouldn't want to put it here because all the water would run on here. But you could put this one on the ground and the water would be dispersed out here evenly out there. Say that this was on the side here and because the blue color you didn't want to see the blue color. So you put the two B's and the two A's and then this just is the same piece that you cut off this. You can cut that off and then congest it to wherever you want to put it and then this way it'll be back behind here so you won't see it. And then at the end, after the water goes out, you can just go over here like this. 
and turn the valve on and you'd get the water to come out like it's coming out now. Or hook this hose back on and you can spray it out. But remember, the water has to be higher than what you're holding this up because it's gravity fed. So that's all it is to it. That'll save you the money for the water and you always have water. You can get a wagon and put eight of these in a wagon and pull them. So that's eight gallons for your plants. Okay, I'm Dave Armbrest, Master Gardener at uh, the Plateau Discovery Garden. Thank you.